Welcome everybody. This is another edition of TJ Plays with AI. This is the design systems and AI edition. Uh, lately, I've been posting a lot about uh, Figma's MCP server and then the whole product development lifecycle in how much more efficient we could be with these new tools. I just posted something recently, a demo using this new method of leveraging the Figma MCP to generate components within our code base. And then this tool that we're using internally to help prompt layouts. So the, the non-developers can go to a storybook instance and then uh, just enter in a text prompt and then it'll leverage the components that are inside that component library to generate whatever layout that they're looking for. So that's, this, that's what I'm here to demo today. It's a product that we're calling Story UI. It's, uh, it's pretty handy to generate these layouts. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the setup for it. This uh, is just a storybook instance. On all of the past demos, I've been using our internal uh, design system altitude for all of the demos. I wanted to show what this might look like with a more popular uh, uh, design system. This one's Ant Design. This also works with MUI or Shad CN or any, any of the popular ones, but as well as the custom ones, as long as they're React-based for now. So uh, I'm gonna just demonstrate on this. This is a pretty clean install of the Ant Design system. And as you can see, the like, storybook loads all these examples in here, but these are the Ant uh, uh, components that are all available within here. So uh, now I'm gonna take you through the installation of Story UI. So go down to the README. I am going to install it here. I'm gonna go to Warp, open a new tab in that directory and install. Move my head over here. Okay, so that's installed. So now I need to initialize it. So I'm gonna take this, go back here, move me again. Initialize it. Okay, so it's gonna ask you whether or not you're using one of these uh, 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 pre-built uh, design systems, material, chakra, and I'm gonna go with ant, because that's what I'm using for this one. And it's gonna ask me if it would like to generate stories in a specific directory. I'm just gonna hit enter, because that one's fine for me. And then it's gonna ask me if I have a Claude API key, which I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that now. It hides it here, so you won't be able to see it. Enter that in. All right, so what it did was it went through and it copied all these necessary files in order to be able to uh, actually get it going. So there's an environment file that it's got to copy over and a couple of other configuration files. So when I go over here, I should be able to refresh this. Actually, no, I don't have to. Boom, there it is. So this is my story generator and puts it right here. I'll move this down a little bit. So now I'm ready to enter stories. So I'll move my head back over here and let's start something simple. Let's say two column layout with two cards, each featuring an image, a heading, and a call to action. So this, the length of time it takes to generate these usually depends on how complex the layout is. This one shouldn't take too long because it's really not that complex, so it, that was pretty good. So it'll put it in this little generated section, and so I can click it here, and then I have a two column grid. These are two cards. Sometimes the images take a little while to load because it's pulling from uh, one of those um, unsplash it uh, sources. I'll just refresh it to see if it'll take a second to pop in. All right, I will come back to that. Okay, so that's that. What if I say something like, let's add a third card. So this is me iterating over a pattern that I just created and this should use the same story file that's here and update it once it's done generating. All right, so there it is. Take a look at it, there it is. So it looks like it, it put in this, it didn't use the, the placeholder image. Uh, oh, it, it did forget the, the, the call to action on the first round, did it? I can't remember. 
but this looks pretty good. Three card layout, call to action. You know, maybe I might want to uh, follow up and say left align it or right align it, but here's the, it just assumed that it was some sort of services that were being featured here. Let me try something a little different. Uh, I'll do a new chat and I'm gonna say, there'll be a website header that features a logo, a navigation and a utility section that has a login and sign up button. All right, let's see what this does. This one might take a little longer because it might be pulling a couple of different components, but we'll see. All right, there it is. And there we go. Here's your logo. It's a brand. These are all actionable links. There's a login button. It even knew to do different versions of these two buttons, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's try something else. Let's try generate a lightweight inventory dashboard. Oh wait, I don't want to do it here. I want to do this in a new chat. I have no idea what this is going to generate because I didn't really give it any specifics about components to use. So I'm just allowing the AI to determine what it thinks a lightweight inventory dashboard might be. So the results are questionable for this one, but we'll see what it does. Also, this might take a little bit to generate since it might be more of a complex uh, uh, generation for this one. Okay, lightweight inventory dashboard generated. Oh, it's pretty cool. It's got a lot of fun stuff in it. This looks like a, I don't know, I don't know if I would call this lightweight, but it's got a lot of great stuff in it and knew what components to pull. And it just put this together, leveraging the components and all of the different variations that are in there. I can go on and on and on with this and, and iterate over this as much as I want. I wanted to keep this video on the shorter side, but I'm happy to demo this with anybody, anybody who wants to use this in their own code base, feel free to. Uh, it's a lot of fun to use. Uh, if you have any problems installing it or anything, please feel free to DM me uh, and I'd be happy to work with you. And if you'd like us to help you uh, customize this and tailor it to your needs for your design system or your organization's design system, shoot me a DM, let me know. I'd be happy to talk through it with you and show you how we're using it and then show you how uh, you could be using it too. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.